so at the end of the first part we were discussing about the position of the nodes and i have to also mention about the capacity of the impulses which each of these node can produce and when we see about the sa node it has the capacity to provide 70 impulses per minute over here so it has the capacity to provide 70 impulses per minute and the ab node has the capacity to produce some 35 to 40 impulses per minute and the ab bundles that is the bundle of his has the capacity to produce 20 impulses and the frequency fibers less than 20 impulses so generally if we look at the capacity of producing impulses if we see at the gradient of the automaticity so if you look at the gradient of the automaticity The gradient of the automaticity generally decreases from the SA node to the Purkinje fibers. So it is a notable point that the gradient of automaticity decreases from the SA to Purkinje fibers. So and we we should focus on the ultimate reason how this automaticity in the myocardium takes place. So the main reason for the automaticity is due to the slow diastolic depolarization and the capacity of the cells to provide the permeability to the sodium and the calcium ions. So we have a graph here which shows the slow depolarization over here the slow depolarization which acts as the pacemaker potential and which insists the myocardium to generate the action potentials and initially if we see the cell is in a negative state around minus 60 millivolt so this is the initial state of the cell where the calcium channels sorry the potassium channels are closed and slowly the sodium channels tends to open and when the sodium channels tends to open we can notice a slow depolarization and at minus 40 and when the cell reaches the capacity around minus 40 millivolt which is the threshold point the calcium channels tend to open so when there is in when there is opening of sodium and calcium channels there is a rapid depolarization so that the chart just goes upwards there is a rapid depolarization and when the cell just hits the positive node at the zero when it reaches the positive node just above zero the calcium channels tend to close and the potassium channels open up when the cells are at the positive state so the permeability of the calcium ions slowly decreases and the potassium ions increases so the positive state of the cell also decreases slowly when the state of the cell just decreases to the negative almost to the resting membrane potential that is the minus 60 millivolt after that the, cal the potassium channels tends to close and the slow sodium channels open along with the calcium ions so this state provides a slow depolarization state where the cell tends to get positive in a slow manner so this potential is called the pacemaker potential this slow permeability to the sodium and the calcium ions provides the necessary potential for the sinoatrial node to produce the electrical impulses and then it can go through a fast depolarization state and this process slowly repeats this slow depolarization just happens around the diastolic period so the main reason for automaticity is due to the slow diastolic the slow diastolic depolarization which involves the permeability of sodium and a sodium and calcium ca2 plus calcium ions So this is the main reason where the SA node can create its own electric impulse. And now we are going to focus on the next property of the myocardial cell 
which is the conductivity so following the automaticity the myocardium has a property called the conductivity so what is conductivity conductivity is the ability the ability of the myocardium to conduct the excitation throughout the myocardial cell so we saw that the property of automaticity so mainly that belongs to the sa node and now speaking about the conductivity we can see these green lines passing from the sa node so this is the conduction of the electrical impulses from the sa node to the ab node throughout the surface of the myocardium of the heart so this property of spreading the impulses from one node to another is called the property of conducting of electrical impulses and now we are going to focus on the speed of the conduction from one node to the other so we'll finish the definition the ability to conduct the excitation this property is called as the conductivity and now we'll focus on the speed of the conduction the speed of the conduction from the sa to ab node is so we see from the sa node to the ab node from sa node to the ab node the speed of the conduction is around so from sa to ab the speed of the conduction is 1 meter per second and the speed of the conduction through the ab node so the speed of the conduction through the ab node is about 0.02 meter per second and the speed of the conduction through the ab bundle that is the bundle of his and purkinje and the purkinje fibers is around 2 to 4 2 to 4 meters per second so if we look at the speed of the conduction from sa to ab it is about 1 meter and through the ab node it is very slow that is 0.2 meter per second comparing to all other nodes and this ab node delay has several importance and the reason for this ab node is due to the synaptic type of the structure that this node possesses over here so if you look at the ab node this synaptic type of the structure of the ab node is the reason for this delay in the conduction process and it also has the low storage of the energetic materials it is capable to store only low energetic materials so that is the reason for the slow conduction nature of this ab node and there is also several importance due to this delay so generally this ab delay is very important because due to this only it provides the rhythmical and non simultaneous contractions of the atria and ventricles so it allows the contraction of the atria and the ventricles in a separate manner that is in a non simultaneous manner so non simultaneous contraction of the atria and ventricles any violation in the conduction process can lead to heart block so any violation regarding this conductivity leads to heart block and heart block is not particular and the heart block can 
take place in any level of this conductive system from SA to AV either from AV to bundle of Hess or from bundle of Hess to Purkinje fibers but there are two important notable hard blocks that we should know which occur very often and those two hard blocks are the AV nodal blocks which take place in this AV node the conduction from AV node to the bundle of Hess which is called as the AV nodal block and we also have another type that is the infrahesian blocks which occur often and this infrahesian blocks occurs below the AV node be it bundle of Hess or Purkinje but it doesn't involve the SA node so we'll write down the two types of the important hard blocks firstly we have the AV AV nodal blocks which involves the conductivity around the AV node and secondly we have the infrahesian blocks that occur only below the AV nodes so this is all about the conductivity